Yeah. 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 Wow, is that what you're doing here? We are. We're also ordering donuts. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. What's your go-to donut? Whatever yeah. vegan donut they have. Fair. Now, I know you've probably seen and heard all about Baby Yoda by this time. Yes. Right? Um, who out of the cast, or more or less the characters, do you think would be the best care caretaker? Um, Chewie. Really? I just feel like being wrapped up in those big old furry arms. Oh. What more could you want? This is true. It'd be so like fuzzy. Yeah. And warm. Yeah. Now, you've been in this series for a while now. And I mean, we've seen you grow with Ray. How much of you, if any, do you think is in the character? A lot. Because I do think that with JJ having met us, obviously the script for Force Awakens was there. And then it changed quite a lot when we were cast. And I think he's always infused these characters with us. So um, mm. I think probably quite a lot. Any characteristics you would pinpoint? Dogged determination. Um, in this one, more um, freedom of expression. Um, and a sense of uh, family with the people that you choose. You know, there are people beyond family who you choose to have as your family. Mm -hmm. And you know, along this ride, um, you've been able to work with some of the like amazing mm. OGs. Mm -hmm. What is something that you'll always remember that either they taught you or you just learned from, you know, Mark or Billy D, Carrie, Harrison? What I've learned from Billy D is some people are just suave. Some people just have it. And the rest of us need to be okay that we'll never be <laughs> Billy D. Because he shouldn't be so charming. No one should be so charming. But he really is. <laughs> and he's also a wonderful human being. So basically that, you know, work with what you got. Yeah. I mean, you're doing just fine. You're pretty Thank charming you. to me. Thank I mean, you. This is fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, and there are also so many new uh, female characters mm. and you know people of color that have been added mm. throughout. What do they, you know, add um, as this final film, you know, film closes out the sequel trilogy? What I think is amazing is they don't add anything because of. It's not that they're there because of how they look. They are the best person for the job, and they have been given the job. Mm -hmm. um, so it's that amazing thing where it's like, hey, it's not like, hey, I'm a female, I'm this, I'm that. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, I'm a proper three-dimensional character in this film, and also I look different than what has been here before. So it's that amazing thing of it's, they're there because they should be there, not for to tick a box or whatever. Naomi is really amazing in the film, and it's very moving, weirdly being, you know, more of, like looking at it from that way, it's really moving to think of how little girls who look like Naomi will feel watching her on screen. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was like, oh, the hair. I was like, oh, look, I yeah. identify for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also when you really look at, you know, the past, all the films, uh, you know, Carrie was at the beginning. Yeah. How do you think this final film honors her? I mean, it is strange that they had the footage that they had and were able to incorporate it into the story because Leia is a proper part of this story. Mm -hmm. And obviously JJ said it might have been different if she was here um, because it, you know, there would have been the option. But the fact that they had what they had is so moving and she's so grounded and there mm -hmm. in it. I think it's a very wonderful tribute to her. And I think the fans and hopefully her family and everyone feels that way. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank your you. time. And I hope you get that donut. I think apparently it's on the way.